So let's, so there's three methods we're focused on. Um, I don't know if we're really going to use peak, but let's focus on like what add and remove do. Um, we're not going to write code for a lunch line, but I, I mean, I think that's a, a good example. We're going to write code instead for like a print queue. Okay. So think of um, when yearbook is in this room um, and they're printing stuff out on their printer. Um, it's a queue. Whoever prints first, their thing is going to come out of the printer first, right? But it might take some time. So several other people might print and might be added to the tail of the queue. And the printer is always going to grab whichever print job is at the head of the queue and print that next. So we're going to like simulate that with this example so we can see a little bit more about using um, queues. So we're going to create a print queue of strings. And we're going to use using a linked list. So remember, queue is an interface. We can't say new queue, right? Just like we can't say new list. Um, just like we can't say new set or new map, right? Those are all interfaces. Um, but we do want the type of our variable to be of type Q. And we're going to have a Q of strings because that communicates the intent. Um, I'm going to call this variable jobs, like print jobs. But I'm going to have to create a new concrete object. I can't say new Q, but I can say new linked list because the linked list class implements the queue interface. I'm kind of emphasizing this point about the difference between the type of the variable and the type of the class we're instantiating, we're creating new, um, because this is a new concept for us, right? It was really easy last year in APCSA because the type of the variable, I can't think of an exception, the type of the variable always matched the type of the object we were creating. Right? We had an array list and we made a new array list. We had a string and we made a new string. We had a turtle and we made a new turtle. Um, that's not the case anymore, right? Things get a little bit more complicated. All right, let's add several print jobs. So let's say jobs that add. Let's say Joe. Uh, we're going to make this, yeah, let's make this more like yearbook focus. So Joe is going to print the junior photos. Oops. And then before that even gets started, Kathy is going to print. Um, the, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, cool section of the yearbook. Um, the CTE, uh, no, that's not, uh, oh, faculty photos, we have that. There's, that's a thing, faculty photos. All right, um, now the printer is like warmed up and it's gonna start printing. So we'll simulate that by doing a system.out.println and we're gonna say printing and we'll concatenate to that, we'll call the remove method on jobs. So this will remove whichever print job is at the head of the queue. All right, while that's printing the junior photos, Kathy does another print job um, and she's going to print the cross country team photo. And then Joe has got more work to do. Joe is working on like all the classes. He's going to print the senior photos. And he's going to print the sophomore photos. Joe's printing all the photos. All right, they've, print, they've submitted all those print jobs. All those things got added to the tail of the queue and the printer finally finishes whatever it's printing. And it's like, okay, on to the next job. And so it's going to remove, call the remove method or remove whatever's at the head of the queue. Kathy adds one more thing. She's going to print the robotic spread. Very exciting. 
And then Joe and Kathy are done printing stuff. And so they just have to like stand around and wait for the printer to finish things. Um, and so a nice way to like empty out a queue is with a while loop. While jobs.size, I know I said there were only three methods you need to know, and it was add, remove, and peak, but size is a method we can call on any collection. Um, so while the size is greater than zero, which means basically print the rest of the jobs in the queue. So while jobs is greater than zero, we'll call that same, we'll call remove and we'll print it. Okay. So that's an easy way to empty a queue. So be when you finish typing and before you click run, I want you to predict what is the first print job that is printed, what is the second print job that is printed based on our sample code. Then click run and see if you're right. 